Hey everybody, I uh, just wanted to give an update on the knives that I'll be offering. Uh, I decided to do wood knives instead of resin. One, because I think it's a little more interesting, and two, because it's easier for me at the moment. Uh, this handle isn't finished, it needs to be touched up. I need to put some black over the silver, make it a little narrower, but it is basically finished. Uh, this is actually the same make and model as the screen used new Halloween knife. It's an 8 inch chef's knife. I'm using another one of those that I have that I ground off so that it's flat on one side to make a template for this. Um, this one got messed with a little bit so it's not exact to the shape and size. You can see that the edge is a little longer on the real one, but you know, that's just from prototyping. And then the rivets will be larger on the knives that I offer on the website. And I'll also have an option for chrome painted blade so that it looks more like a uh, shiny metal. I mean, this isn't not convincing. Like if you're using this for a fan film or whatever, it's dark shots. You don't show the thick-ass knife. I'm going to work on getting these thinner, too. I'll see how thin I can get them uh, while keeping them sturdy. But, uh, you know, you're using this for fan film, so you don't stab your actors. Looks pretty convincing in the hand. It's just the thickness, which, again, I'll be working on, so we'll see how that turns out. I'm also going to be doing the Rob Zombie remake knife, the Bowie, eventually the original knife and then Jason's machetes, so those will be coming within the next few months, so I want to try to do those soon. Uh, these knives are actually constructed like knives, so like these wooden handles are separate pieces. These are metal rivets. I decided to go with metal rivets instead of wood. Oh, focus. Adds a little bit of weight to the handle, and I just think it makes it feel a little more genuine. You have the bolster there. And then you have a artificial, well, it's a real edge, but it's not sharp because it's wood. What do you expect? But um, this knife in particular will probably be like 60 or $70. You can get a blood covered variant too. <laughs> the other ones, I'm not quite sure yet. We'll see how much effort they take to make. But anyway, let me know what you guys think. I hope you like them.